As Israel takes responsibility for bombing the suburbs of Beirut, as more bombs fall on the Golan Heights, as Britain tells its people to leave Lebanon because of fear of a war uh, and the expansion of the conflict from Gaza to the north of Israel. There's news that um, Ismail Haniya, the chief, uh, the political chief of Hamas, has been killed in Tehran um, last night. And the incident marks a significant escalation in the long-standing conflict between Hamas and Israel. Uh, Ismail Haniya is a prominent figure. Uh, he was born in 1963 in the Al-Shati refugee camp. He rose through the ranks of Hamas, eventually becoming its political leader. He's been a central figure in Palestinian resistance, advocating an armed struggle against Israeli occupation. His assassination took place shortly after he participated in the inaugural ceremony of Iran's new president, underscoring the deep ties between Hamas and the Iranian government. The assassination was reportedly carried out by an Israeli airstrike on his residence in Tehran, and this action has drawn condemnation uh, and enthusiasm diverse reactions globally. Hamas issued a statement mourning their leader and reaffirming their commitment to their cause. Uh, Hamas mourns our great Palestinian people. The head of the movement was killed in a treacherous Zionist raid on his residence in Tehran. Uh, but of course, it demonstrates absolutely the link between Hamas and Iran. Hamas officials, including Sami Abu Zuhri, have stated that the act is a serious escalation by Israel and an attempt to undermine Hamas's resolve. Despite this loss, they say that Hamas is more than just its leaders and will continue its struggle. Hania's son, Abdul Salam, reflected on his father's legacy, noted his persistent efforts for Palestinian unity and confirmed that the assassination would not deter their resistance. International responses have varied. Israeli officials have justified the strike, saying that it contributes to global safety. Uh, Amichai Elia uh, Eliyahu, uh, Israel's heritage minister, said that Hania's death would make the world a bit better. Conversely, President uh, Mahmoud Abbas condemned the killing as a cowardly act and urged unity with Palestinians, among the Palestinians. China and Russia have also criticized the assassination, highlighting concerns over increased regional instability and the potential for further violence. The, uh, the, the situation is volatile and it reminds us of the profound and often tragic impacts of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict uh, in the wider world. Um, you, you know, people as far as Malaysia um, have denounced the act. Uh, Malaysia advoca advocating a peaceful dialogue. Um, Aripin Utarisin a Thai policy expert says that the grave implications of the assassination occurring in Iran um, have heightened tensions and challenges in any form of negotiation. As the world watches the reactions and the subsequent actions taken by all those involved will shape the future of this enduring conflict.